when we are working together, we call ourselves dog and pony. And, uh, but yes, we mostly, I think we work together on, on fun projects, I guess. So tomorrow is going to be that uh, trash robot battle where we're supposed to send in a contender into the race, uh, which is able to push the other robot out of that playing field. And the idea is to use some things that you have lying around. So we decided to do something like a disco bot, uh, which where I had this old tape deck, which I already took apart. And now I'm trying to mount that to an old RC car. Alexandra is preparing a little creature, a creature. A little creature that can be will be put on top of it. So that's the idea. And now the, the task is to just put things together. Fortunately, it is not supposed to look really good. But I guess we might get carried away again. Not yeah. Because <laughs> like so last like actually a few months ago we took part in another one of those Hebocons and we built this. Uh, Cumbercat it's called and we were almost disqualified because it was like too we, handsome. it was yeah too, it was too beautiful. Too beautiful. <laughs> so we have to try to stay clear of that. Yes, I'm I'm Mario Klingemann and uh, I'm an artist even though calling myself an artist is only I only dare to do that since 3 years I guess. Before that I couldn't really define what I'm doing. It's something with computers and it produces, I produce interesting or beautiful things. But I realized that I'm probably an artist and I guess it's also, I mean, yes, you have, well, everybody can cons can call themselves artists anyway. You just have to make the world believe that, that you actually are. So My name is Alexander Lukashevitz and uh, that's quite a mouthful of a name. I'm, um, I'm a creator of things. I, I love critters, I love um, weird stuff, I love comics and uh, so it's still for me hard to define what I'm doing or what to, how to describe what I'm doing. So because I'm doing illustrations and I'm doing also a little bit of graphic design to earn my daily money. But I'm also doing more and more um, art projects and projects for showrooms, paper costumes and paper animals and stuff like this. And so that's what I love. That's what I love to do more and more. And so, yeah, creator of things. That's what I think is the best way to describe myself. My medium or let's say the, well, the art, I create art with code, with algorithms because I, I cannot paint or do anything, but the computer is somehow the, the, the machine. I think it was made for me because that allows me to kind of write code, which then produces output that is aesthetic or beautiful or interesting. And also I'm, I'm very lazy. So that means, I, I mean, I'm not lazy while I'm programming, but then once it starts producing things, then I can just lean back, press the space button and say, yes, next. Oh, I like that. No, that's that's ugly. So I like the this approach where I create rules, I, I create algorithms and those produce images, let's say, or sounds. And then I just say, OK, give me another variation of this. Yes, I guess I'm, I'm in the business of uh, creating serendipity machines because yes so I'm I have a vague idea where I want to take some algorithm or what kind of aesthetic space I want to explore and then I build the machine and then I in a way I send out a probe which uh, brings me back what it thinks or what I have thought that it might be interesting and then it shows it to me and I say yes I like this no uh, that's not it and I try to steer it towards what well, what I find beautiful or interesting. This is a collection of my recent verbs, creations. This for example is a little dodo I did for Mario, for Mario's talk eigenartig. Same goes for those little owls and uh, chameleons. And the pigeons are made from um, very special and delicate uh, Italian fabric um, for, a, for a company called Rovelli, um, which is based in, yeah, in Venice.
That's why I chose pigeons. And this one is for a friend of mine, her boyfriend is totally in love with dinosaurs. And he gets a little, he has a little cat as a sidekick. And that's her. Her pet name is Cat, and that's why this dinosaur has a little cat as a sidekick. I see um, characters and I see um, personalities in also in, in like in objects, everyday objects. So I see I see faces, or I see um, and I love to create uh, little creatures, and I love to um, to give them personality. So it's not only to to build like like a cat or a bird, but it has to look in a certain way. It has a certain attitude. And while I'm doing this and while I'm creating this thing or this bird or this creature, um, yeah, then suddenly I see the personality, I see this quirkiness. And then when it's finished, I often have a hard time to give it away. <laughs> I think uh, what we definitely have in common is that we we both love to be in our own bubbles. I mean, actually separate bubbles. But then it's kind of uh, that that we have that in common that we 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 love each other's bubbles and have our the same kind of quirkinesses. Yeah, I'd say. <laughs> we can we can work alone. Both of us, we can work alone. We don't need to be together all the time. But it's nice to to work together, to do a project together from time to time.